Counting down the days till Thanksgiving. Then we have Christmas, but it's a whole season. So we start celebrating right now to bring the joy around. Oh! Kaylee's birthday, Kaylee's birthday is right after Christmas Day. That's the reason she gets off on Christmas. Hey, hey, hey. Hey! Yeah. <laughs> it's Thanksgiving season. This discussion continues at 534-9957. But, you know, I've been told that people who celebrate Christmas earlier are genu generally happier. So yes. it makes sense. Well, anyone that celebrates anytime is usually generally happy. I got to take this out because yeah. I'm hearing the... So Maggie, if you want to say something, you got to come in. Yeah, here. you got to come in here because <laughs> we're hearing all sorts of ambient noise here. So we have uh, a president-elect, and now we got a chief of staff. And what's what's next? Oh, the Capitol Christmas tree in our backyard. That's right. It's happening. That will be it's going here down. as we get it. Oh, Oof. I need to get the list of things that we have. Because because it's going to be at the Veterans Day parade. Yeah. Uh, in I in Pocatello coming up this weekend. So we'll have the uh, Capitol Christmas tree. Capitol Christmas coming tree. coming from Alaska. In Pokey. One of our states. All right, now Way I got up the there. list up. Some of the best things I know come out of Alaska. Uh, yeah? Yep. Like what? Uh, salmon? Fish? Uh, <laughs> that's all I know Alaska for. <laughs> Limited sunshine. <laughs> Limited sunshine. Or a lot of sunshine. What's it going to be? Uh, yeah, so, oh, I'm sorry. These were my notes from uh, the news. Uh, what, yeah, what did we have that we were going to show? Well, being that it's Christmas, it's typically, you know, with snow, and you don't want to get in trouble for parking your car in the wrong spot. No, our last news director got busted for that. You remember that, John? <laughs> Wait, actually, so, yeah, I don't remember this that. So, yeah, this is what they did to it. They was like, hey, you got to move your car. <laughs> you, you, listen, beep, beep. you got to get this hoopty. It's got to go. That is so funny. This is out of West Yellowstone, Montana. Jenny sent this, uh, and it is, yeah, that's, again, you can't park here. <laughs> you cannot park here. So, just, I've never seen that before. That is so funny, You've though. had too many gummies. You can't park here. We're moving <laughs> your car. <laughs> There's snow on the ground in West Yellowstone. Yeah, there is. That's, that's an happened. adjacent community wow. here just outside of our viewing area. So funny. Uh, and, yeah, you got to move that car. But and then the animals. They yeah. all want to cuddle. You got to hang out with some cutie. Well, these are barn cats, but you know, the problem is when I wear these suit pants, they get they get a little attached. And <laughs> there's yeah, they want to nuzzle and oh. cuddle. And they're they're so yeah, I know, but it's when they get a hold of my leg through these britches. Oh! Ow. oh. Yeah. Ouch. Yeah, there's not much protection with those the suit pants. Yeah, the the flimsy bridge. Yeah, exactly. The, the Sunday pants. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those don't protect from cat claws, especially when they're out chasing mice and stuff. You know, oh, God, right in the thigh. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. Does that? Does you can't even hear it? But does that make you? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, no, yeah no, all right. You. And then of course you go to the store. Can we turn this up so I can show this? Uh, the I'm audio because this is the Christmas sweater phenomenon. It's already started at many shopping areas. This is from my TikTok. Christmas sweaters. Oh snap! Thank you. It's begun. Velour pants with cushy plush, of course, and of course. I'm doing play by play. And dresses. Oh my with gosh. Corduroy. Corduroy. Carrots. Corduroy is a cat. Be the tree or the gift under it. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, happy holidays. Wow. Mm. Now, if I brought you one of these, would you mm. wear it on the TV? Um. Because, see, this is, this will put a stop to all this, mm. oh, it's Christmas time mm. already. <laughs> because it is. Well, Look, that is all right. hard proof. Yeah, what size are you, ma'am? TV size. It's TV yeah. size. Okay, yeah. I'm bringing it. <laughs> now, if I bring, if, I'm, if I bring one of them dresses, I, I will wear it. It's all. <laughs> it's all. You want it? You want to declare Christmas? You just watch. That is in the luxury section at the Fred Meyer. Ooh. Hidden back there behind the Starbucks. <laughs> Who is also getting festive for Christmas? Yeah, See, it's they, all. You got to get ahead happening. of it. Everybody exactly. puts the stuff in the stores ahead of time. 
And that's where we run into. Dude, I'm decor. so bad when it comes to decor. Like when I see something cute, I'm like, yes, yes, yes. And I just start do, grabbing do things. Do you have totes, you know, like tubs for different seasons? Oh, yeah. Are, are your Halloween tubs orange? I don't do have you a Halloween color code? tub, but. Well, I mean, autumnal. Yeah, yeah. Is but it? it's not orange. No, I don't color code. I'm not that advanced yet. I've seen a lot of people do a lot of things. I have see-through tubs, so that way I can just kind of look yeah. at it and go, no, you ain't in there. Yeah, same. That's easiest that so when way. you get married, it, things get color coded. <laughs> I guess I need to get up to that caliber. Well, again, <laughs> I'm a little behind. You only been married what four years, something like that? Three? Four? Yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, four, four. How do I know these things and she does? It. I forgot Gabe, what year it was. Call me, Gabe. I forgot what year it was. We need to go to Top Golf in Salt Lake. We got to get Ooh, out of here, dude. Yeah. While she go, you need to take the card. You're gonna leave to, me? You need card control for my seat so you so you can turn her <laughs> card off. No, <laughs> he knows better. He knows better. He would never. Who's do running that this to me. relationship, Gabe? Mm, me. Dog. Duh. She put you what in a mean? lamb suit for Halloween, dog. He wanted to do that. And he then he chose was sweating that. bullets at that party I saw y'all at <laughs> he was downtown. <laughs> y'all was all sweating bullets up in there. He's like, oh, I need to be made into a sweater. <laughs> Well, he was expecting me. it to be a lot colder, you so he was think. really excited. Well, he doesn't watch the weather, obviously. <laughs> no, well, he made that. He already bought the costume before we knew. He should what have it would shaved be. it on down and went his tankless <laughs> top, you know, tank top. Yeah, lamb really. Lamb man, <laughs> llama <laughs> your mama. Uh, so oh we had some gosh. other fun this week because it was election week, and would then you call it fun? Oh, it chaos. was fun because you guys decorated the set, and then this was the funny part backstage. Oh boy. <laughs> Really? Feet. Taller than me. Is this what we're doing? I can't get my hand in there. This is the most rando setup ever. You got you got large balloons and coats and and, and then this is the set. See, it's the it's like Abe channel. Lincoln stopped by and oh. decorated. <laughs> there we go. Chandler died did this and he did a fantastic job. He did fantastic. Did Chandler buy those? <laughs> How did I know he knew someone that could do that? Wait, the real kicker is he almost broke the studio zoom. He almost broke. Yo, it's on tape. He almost what? <laughs> he broke. He plugged in a steamer to steam these on one of the power strips over there. And it shut off the Wi-Fi, all the cameras, the weather computer, everything. Because <laughs> he, he put in a steamer. And so he had to call the on-call engineer. When was this? Last night? Yeah. Oh, in the middle of the night? Oh, don't do things when people aren't here, dude. <laughs> yeah. It made it very difficult for me because I did take a lot of time. We love Chandler. Chandler popped the brake. <laughs> um, there's got to be a <laughs> yeah, he did. steaming a blanket I think this is enough. skirt around the desk up there. <laughs> oh, wow. It was fun, though. Yeah, so fun happy election. Nice a lot of people are not real happy about that. They've had some wild stuff on the internet since. There's and a, very mixed and opinions. It, and, and you know what? I, um, can we stop? Can we just move <laughs> on? Over with it? It for a second? Well, it's it. And now, and even the Republicans, they're continually badgering. But it's like, I know, like okay, can we time out? Can we get free. a time out for just a second? Yeah. We got through it. Everybody <laughs> now we just breathe. need a minute. Yeah. I mean, you, can you imagine what therapy is like trying to get in to see a therapist right now? Lines out the door. Is it? Because <laughs> we can't find therapists here in this town. It's like, why have them if we can't get into them? <laughs> They're all booked and busy. I, I, yeah. I mean, it's like more therapists than that. Dentist, car washes, storage units. and Realtors. And <laughs> realtors. <laughs> There's so many signs out. I accidentally voted for a realtor. <laughs> He did his own little I was in. so confused. <laughs> oh, please. Oh, and wow. And then I got realtors now, because I said that, trying to connect with me on LinkedIn. <laughs> See, this is what happens. Because I, uh, Once you say the, the phrase, the they, campaign they come not, swarming. No, yeah, I know. They come swarming. <laughs> They're like, let me help you buy a house. It, it, let me it's help funny, because any time I go out with her anywhere in public, it's like people swarm her for pictures and autographs and stuff. <laughs> what? And they're like, she's like the next Oprah. No, and she's I'm not. like, and I'm like standing over here being security. <laughs> That's not truth. Hey, <laughs> but I'll take you as my security. Again, guy. I can bounce all up in it because <laughs> I will shut you down if I need to. That's right. And people start telling me I look like J.D. Vance now. <laughs> I see it. 
<laughs> I totally see it. I'm the new VP. <laughs> Word. Watch out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm your vice president. <laughs> Somebody told us that the other day. It's like, she should be president, and Jeff, you can do secretary stuff. I'm like, <laughs> secretary of what? Like, who wants me as president? Secretary we don't of want state? That. Secretary of Secretary of whatever you want. Sec again. Sec all the secretaries. You, did you run for office at any time during school or no. anything? No. I, I was did. too busy cheerleading. You that were took cheer up my well those, those typically I those was captain. People. I ran for captain. Well there you won. That's a thing. Yeah. I I could never win anything. I I ran for president junior class or whatever. Yeah. It didn't that didn't work out. Didn't work out? Well no. the the fray the slogan. Let's hear it. Vote for the rope. <laughs> the P.E. rope that you had to climb? No, it's my last name, Kaylee. Oh. Ha, 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 I could see why it didn't work. <laughs> it's a different generation. <laughs> Clearly. <laughs> you had to make your signs. You couldn't just post it on social media. Oh, bummer. You had to make cardboard signs and post them Go up. Go to around. the Dollar I mean, Tree it, it, and it was on Dollar Tree. You get the post Back when boards. I was coming along, it was a quarter tree. Oh. Must be nice. <laughs> I'm joking. Dollar General. What's that like? What's that like? Well, the world of social media. I think Obama really benefited from social media. He's the president that got it. The got in on that mm. and was able to use it to his advantage. I was too young. Well, I do remember, like, camp social media campaigning at recess when I was way too young to know what elections were, and like I had a sign for Obama and who was the other one? Um, Romney. Yeah. I had two signs that I made in class, just marching around like, vote for Obama, vote for Romney. I was playing both sides, just me and my friend. And we had no business it. doing that. And there you have it. She plays both sides. <laughs> I'm just, I see right through the middle, okay? I agree with both, even as a freaking six-year-old. <laughs> six-year-old. I don't know, how, I don't remember how old I was. What I, I wanted to do was have people honk their vote, and that way we have an exit poll. So we take, you know, one of our stunt people and put them out on the road. Oh, okay. And stunt it's people. one honk for Trump, two honks for Kamala. And that way oh. you count, you honk your vote. And that way we get some sort of gauge. But the problem is some people <laughs> just don't know when to stop honking. <laughs> they just keep going. And oh. then it's finding people that can count. That's the other issue. As long as you don't go to the roundabout and get all those honks. That's a whole nother issue. <laughs> And when we had Wendy Orman on the other day at yeah. noon, I almost asked her. I couldn't get a word in. I wanted to say, Wendy, I got one more question. But no, we just keep going. And it's like, I, again, pressing issues here. We need to talk about roundabouts in this state. Well, we can sit down and chat with her. You, I'm gonna bring, don't, we'll bring hey, her back. Don't think me and Brad Little ain't going to have a conversation about it. Oh, I'm excited for that. This Can't roundabout for that. this roundabout in Ammon that somebody ordered off a of Timu. <laughs> Like, what the is one inch that? platform. <laughs> what is that? We put these ridges up in the middle of 25th. You got these triangle speed yes. bumps, <laughs> and then you make a roundabout. Yes. It's as flat as my head. Like, we know you can raise the roof. Come on. <laughs> and then you got to make a U turn around it. <laughs> yeah, it's. I pretty. don't know who plans this or what kids got a dad on the transportation committee or what, who's selling. <laughs> cement to somebody hey, they need to put their funds somewhere else they but and these sticks that. that are up yeah right by the target doink, doink, in doink. the middle of the like what, come what on that? what are the sticks and <laughs> what are the sticks we could rant about this forever we could and then frankly i'm going to call the mayor about this too we can't i can't handle the orange pylons this doesn't cut it as a barrier <laughs> i need barrels I need barrels. Watch out for Jeff's truck. He's coming through. I cannot, I cannot the see sticks. <laughs> I need barrels. Well, when I drive at night with my astigmatism, if there's a Same red light, thing. it looks like one of those orange poles because it stretches all the way down. So I'm like, ah, dodge. Well, yeah. Oh, that's and not. We probably need <laughs> flares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Little lights. Throw them on the ground. That's how they direct people up in the Tetons when people try to drive through there. Yeah. Listen, oh. if, if I could fix everything, I would. It's going to take your vote in 2028. Vote for the rope. <laughs> vote for the rope. Vote for the gym rope, baby. Uh, no, there's no such. No. <laughs> Nobody said that. I think I'm funny. You're just jealous my last name rhymes. I know. I wish I had an easier last name. My you, maiden name's you, not easy. My married name's not easy. Your maiden easy. name was pretty easy. Really? People always ask me how to pronounce it. It's because it's the way it's spelled. The way you say it is no, easy. say it. Charmin. Don't squeeze the Charmin. Yes.
Anybody that has any sense of maturity knows what I'm talking about. Exactly. So I could be your Mr. Whipple. <laughs> oh, brought to you by TP. Um, so another conversation. I know you're hoarding that too. Yeah. Just ahead of the election. Like, stop it. What are y'all doing? Everyone's getting crazy. Hoarding it. All right, and we got Speaking it. of crazy. Cray cray. People what? are starting to name their baby girls, specifically baby girls, after their best friends, father. This is a new trend. It is a strange trend. Where did this come from? I don't know where it came from. I just see it all over TikTok now. So it's my best friend's dad. Yes. And it's what would his name be? My what? best friend's dad's name is Kirk. So Kirk. that would not work for a baby girl. It would. That's what you got to name it. Do you then make a bet on this and they have to do it? Or are they just picking names that are, for a girl, obviously it's a man's name, so they're yeah. doing the androgynous yeah. name thing where it's like you could be either not androgynous, but the, you know. They're the, trying to like make it more like. Ambiguous. Yeah. We've done that. Taylor, that. Hunter, Tyler, mm -hmm. Joe, um, Sam, what else? Yeah, did you say Hunter? Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Um, Aiden, is that, a, is that a, is that, that's, is that, that or, could be either. Or um, Aaron. A Aaron. Aaron's a good one. But my, my, my high school best friend's dad's name was Jamie, so that one would definitely See, work. Jamie. I would some do of these one. names, and it's like, it's so embarrassing when you introduce someone at an event, and you don't know, and you say, here he is, and you just assume that, you know, Taylor is a dude, <laughs> like Taylor Sheridan. But no, it's Taylor Swift, and you're like, <laughs> Not to be confused. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> you Somebody tell me these things. Yeah. This, these are the things that we go through when people don't explain things behind the scenes or give you a heads up. It's like you didn't spell it right. It really doesn't matter how you spell it. As long as um, I don't say get it right. me started on the spelling thing. Oh, the emceeing of things. It's like, I, you know, we, it doesn't matter how you spell it on my script. I need to say it correctly. Yeah, exactly. You know, you can do what you want. Otherwise, you know, but yeah, we got to say it right. Not that I have an accent or anything. All right, we got to go. Not at all. Well, you had a question for Maggie. She's all my Oh, Maggie. Is Maggie here? Well, one more thing before we, we'll leave you with this. So, Maggie, we're talking, about, we're talking about redheads? Yeah. Have you ever heard of redheads? Come, come <laughs> here to Walk the studio area. The Have you ever heard Walk of redheads using mayonnaise in their hair? No, I haven't. Washing their hair with mayonnaise? I have not. Okay. I've only heard of that when you have lice. I'm not saying that. <laughs> I, I, I'm not saying that at all. I just have heard that mayonnaise does something to, to enrich the, the color or the texture and uh, yeah. Oh, like blondes use purple shampoo, brunettes use uh, blue shampoo, redheads use mayonnaise. Again, it's you gotta delicious. try it out. <laughs> Can you I'm try scared. it? And take a video. I would not want to try that. <laughs> I know, I'm like, it's giving PTSD when I had lice in elementary school. <laughs> did your mother do that to you? Well, it was the night before my birthday party, so yeah, we did everything. You put mayonnaise oh in your hair goodness. already? Yeah. So done you done have done it. Been there, done right. that. Yeah, only for and lice. Only two, lice. Weeks, two weeks later, her hair was just Ask your mother about that. Yeah, that's when your hair turned red. When <laughs> <laughs> ask, yeah, ask, she used to be a blonde. Ask, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was bald, and then the red hair showed up with the mayonnaise. <laughs> Go ahead and ask your mama, Dukes or Hellman's, and did it work? <laughs> and it don't, was that's why you don't. The generic that's why when you have the the generic, the great generic, value. Yeah, great yeah. value. <laughs> oh, good. Walmart mayonnaise. <laughs> Listen, don't ever put the Mexican hat on at the restaurant either. You know? Yeah. He's been on everybody's head. Yeah. You wear somebody else's hat. No. That's how you get the bugs. <laughs> the bugs. Well, we had bugs here one time. Sounds and like the, we had bed bugs. Ooh. We had to bomb the newsroom. <laughs> oh, I remember the ant problem last year. Well, you, you remember the mouse problem from from when the old studio was here? Oh no, I was. Those old jokers would sneak in while I was doing the weather. Heck <laughs> no. Are you uh, talking about in the corner over here where the weather used to be back over here, and so yeah. it was the back corner of the studio and there were mice. We had a mouse problem. Uh, 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 uh. That's yes. no. Everybody want to be on are you, TV. Are you sure it wasn't the reporters? Ooh. I'm just kidding. I love y'all. She got jokes. <laughs> See you at noon. <laughs>